shaking and whatever else. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is proper now. You watch them on YouTube and that. I couldn't tell you how many YouTube videos I watched of Skegness saloons. <laughs> <laughs> In car Skegness. <laughs> <laughs> Been looking a bit of a the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, nah, I'm just like things like that now. And how much are you learning each meeting? Oh, you learn something. Do you, have you got a book? Or you yeah, I've got a book, yeah. You do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking behind me. I can see Allard with flashing lights as Riven. I can see Shevel. I'm thinking, <laughs> I've heard about Ooh, yeah. you go. I've heard about these people. <laughs> <laughs> Now's my time to show you. Welcome back to another episode of the Stock Car Podcast. Today, we have probably one of the most committed drivers I've ever seen in recent years, and that is none other than Joey Reynolds. <laughs> Joey! Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the <laughs> Make sure you say thanks to all of them, definitely. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. How are we, boy? Yeah, good, mate, you? Yeah, not bad. Jackie Chan? Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, Loving it. Very we just good. come back from a podcast yesterday, and we're straight on it again today with Joey. First of all, congratulations on... Go on. Go on, what, winning a race? No. <laughs> no well, you sort of did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. One, one of them, one of them did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of them did. Now, congratulations. No, you got a newborn on the way. Yeah, thank you. Fair play to Cheers. you. Yeah. How is that going to affect the racing? Hopefully not a lot. It no. will do at the start, obviously, but... Which is, when is it due? End of March. And you don't know what it's... No, nah, I don't know. Don't know what we're going to have yet. End of March, so that's when season kicks off. So you Well, gonna... start of March, so then start... <laughs> And then, like, near the time it's going to be, there's a championship at Ireland. Oh. So hopefully you can just, like... What, what championship they got there? Uh, Irish Masters and Irish Open. Right. So hopefully Izzy can just... Wait. Sneeze or hard do or, don't know, yeah, do, yeah, do yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no curries, anyway. No. Definitely no curries. <laughs> no, nothing like that, no. Right, yeah. first year, first season in saloons. You've come from the bangers. We'll go back to the past in a bit. But first yeah. season in saloons, what do you think? Loved it. Yeah, loved every single minute of it. Whether it was actually a bad meeting or was it a good meeting, it's brilliant. Like, should have done it earlier, but no, I shouldn't have done it earlier. You think? Yeah, I think you'd need to have... I don't think it's something you can just jump straight into. They're a lot of hard work. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work. And you've got to have some sort of, I think, experience... Before jumping before straight jump into, into it. Do you know it's what I mean? not like a rookie rod or a back-to-basic. Nah, something you, like that. It's yeah. a proper formula. Because if you want to do it, you got to be. You got to have some good meetings, and do you know what I mean? And then go for it. Yeah. Because if you keep having bad meetings, then you just lose interest, don't you? Do you find it hard straight away? Like obviously you're used to real drive anyway, aren't you? Yeah, like used to real drive, but it's a completely different, basically different. You sort of have learned in bangers. You just mm. throw away, start again. Really? Yeah, it's just loads of different stuff. You got to drive different. You got to. It's loads of different. Why you hit it's, people? Yeah, you got, still haven't sussed that out yet. You've got to hit people <laughs> at the right time. And yeah. Well, someone was saying, I think it was Lee was saying, they're so different the way you hit people because in bangers, you always try to protect your front left wheel. Of course, yeah. He was saying, but in stock cars comes, don't worry about that. Yeah, and that's what I've got to get out of my head. You come to corner, you think, oh, I don't want to hit the wheel or something like that. Don't Slam worry about that. Wall. Just Yeah, hit the wall, Slam don't worry. Wall, just whack that, <laughs> yeah. keep going. You'll replace that later on, but nah, it's, it's, it is good, but like I say, it is a big change. What did you get up to? Were you red? Uh, yeah, red, yeah. Started as a blue, yeah. Start, that's not bad. No. How many meetings did you do this year? Uh, I think it worked out. I think it was 63, I think, in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a few bangers in between. Oh, Sneaked mate. a few bangers <laughs> in and that. And obviously, there was bangers meetings. between January and March. So we'd done that at the start. Then it was a saloon. Yeah, and then sneaked oh a few God. bangers You must in. be like that driving on the way back, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> must be tiring, though. I don't always drive. Sometimes the other boys drive, but yeah. yeah. You it's, got, well, let's say you got misses at home yeah. and you doing 63 meetings yeah. how does that a lot of people ask me obviously about me and Chelsea yeah. obviously I don't put as much time in as what some other people do there's a lot more people that put more time in than me and obviously yourself doing 63 meetings what's that like at home uh, obviously we don't live together at the minute so I've just pretty much got every single night to myself oh, anyway Right. so that's a bonus and obviously at weekends we just work out where we're racing or what's going on, we just we just work it you out. You make it it's, work. Yeah, it's, it's if you, if it's meant to be, you're gonna make it. Yeah, work exactly. Regardless. That. Yeah, it's perfect. Regardless, but you had a good meet, good season in saloons. Good yeah. first season. Brilliant. Yeah, loved it. And then, so let's take it back to early years now. All right. So, what's your first sort of memory? Because uh, you've come back from a big banger family. Yeah, obviously, dad's raced for years. Yeah, my uncle as well, and then obviously Jack. A few people know Jack, obviously, and then. Yeah. Just so what's your early memories? Of I remember the first banger meeting, a uh, national banger meeting at Stan Lake, at a Volvo, uh, one of my dad's old used cars. And uh, he said, oh, you'll be all right. I said, not really, it's real drive. What's this, 16? Or 
was actually 14 at the time. Just about to turn 15. Oh, Hope really? my mum's we'll not watching this. We'll let it know. <laughs> 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 she still don't no, know. She doesn't mean she actually knows that. <laughs> but yeah, just for me uh, 15th, I think. Was it just after 15th? L- literally right around that time. How'd you get away with that? Well, it's Stanley. It's Stanley. Oh. Obviously, whereas at Speedworth, when I've done juniors, you have to write down your age and mm. everything else. Stan Lake just... Turn up. Oh, it's Keith's son. He's gone off you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Right. But yeah, had a good meet, actually. Spun myself out once or twice, I think. Done dad in the DD. Smashed him up. Did you win it? Nah. Oh. Nah. Did you do anything actually, before that? Straight, that was your first ever meeting in a banger? No, in a, well, I've done a few like rookie bangers before that. Yeah, at yeah. Stan Lake as well. Yeah. But then junior bangers before that. And was junior that, uh, rods before that. They didn't have junior rods. They didn't have them at Speedworth. Back junior bangers. Day. Yeah, when they first started them, yeah. And I'd done a bit of Ringwood as well. Right. And so obviously, like, before that was Junior Rods. Uh, do you remember, like, Tadley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That more than me. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think I ever went there. Good track. Like, I know where Very good track. I know where it is, yeah. Yeah. Was it Shay or...? No, it was um, Tarmac. Yeah. Mm. FMC, it was. Yeah, they took it over. And then that was a good track. It's a shame it shut down, really. Right. So, yeah. So, just doing bangers from Pretty much teen, early yeah. teenager. And then, at what point do you start going out... On your own, or was you always? As in, like, what do you mean, like going off on my own, or yeah, just going off to do your own meetings, or yeah? I think Dad, I probably said to Dad something stupid, like I want to go here or something, and he probably said to me, "Why would you want to do that?" <laughs> then I because I want to go racing, <laughs> yeah, so I want to go racing, and then uh, I probably found someone else who was going. It was around our area, and said, "Oh, would you chuck my car on or something?" Mm. And then just keep doing that, and then before you know, it, that's it, isn't it? You just race much as you can. Well, that's it. If you, you can do it, you're going to do it, aren't you? Well, of course. Obviously, yeah. you work at A1 yeah, Car yeah. Spares, yeah. so that's obviously a big help, big sponsor. Very big sponsor, yeah. So, anyone needs any car parts, A1 Car Spares. If you ring go. up, normally it's him, but he's too busy watching Tebs <laughs> Weekly to answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, work at A1, yeah. That's a good job. Um, like I say, yeah, they've, they help me out loads. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have done half their means. Right. Yeah. And that's obviously you getting your cars as well. Yeah, when we're doing bangers and that, yeah, like literally every single car. Because like bangers are like, quite a lot of money now. It's expensive. Oh mate, if you wasn't, if you didn't know anyone in the scrapyard or whatever, and you're paying full price for these cars, what, what's a banger gonna, what's a banger gonna cost you? Um, well even now, like you know, them little six hundred bangers. Yeah. Like Focus now, what two fifty, three hundred quid or something. That's just the car, and then obviously just a few other bits that go with it. Obviously you got weld the corner plates on, bits and bobs. Just that ends up being a lot of money yeah. for maybe a lap. That's, that's the thing we've always... That's the thing I've always... Well, no. you never know though, do you? If your no, luck's not no. in it, no. <laughs> if your luck's not in it, could it all go wrong. Every time he goes out, he probably wins yeah. two out of three anyway. Especially like the recent, recent one at Eastbourne. Yeah, that was good, yeah. So that was you, just something to do. Would you, you mainly 1600 bangers or were you doing nationals? No, I was doing nationals as well. So you, that's what I'm saying. Building three different cars. So I was doing like... The year I'd done 100 meetings, I'd done Eastbourne and Wednesday. 100 meetings? By well, 92, I think it was in the end. That's about, I went to South Africa and done hot rods as well at the start of the year. God, boy, you've done some racing. Yeah. Jealous. It, very. <laughs> you've done some racing. Yeah, yeah. That's but, like I'm saying, you you do Eastbourne on a Wednesday and a back to basic. Mm-hmm. So that's one car, one meeting, really. You smash it up. So we'd normally go to work on the Thursday morning. Yeah. Like wake up extra early, go to work. Strip the car out from the night before. What, in the morning? Yeah, before 8 o'clock, before work starts. So you chuck it in the scrap pile. Who's this? How many of you doing this? Sorry. So this is me, and I think at the time, it'd probably been Josh Wilkins or Jimmy Craig. Like we were yep. just doing it every week. Then the Saturday would race somewhere, maybe, I don't know, Kingsland or something, anything. If you had a Merc or a Volvo kicking about. Then Sunday, again, could have been a 1600 order shot or just whatever it was, just go with the flow, innit? So is that you week in, week out, looking at the fixtures and going, you know what, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. Well, it was normally Cars on the way for a meeting, to be fair. Oh, right. <laughs> on the You're Sunday, you think, one. what's the next week? Eastbourne's back to basics. All right, we'll get a Fiesta tomorrow or whatever. Build that tomorrow. The next Fiesta that comes so in the yard. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> in here. Yeah. Drop it straight in there. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, your yard's at A1, isn't it? Yeah, at the time it wasn't. It was actually no. in Guildford. Oh, was so it? it's like 40 minutes what, from there. How long have you been in A1 now, then? So when I done my knee the first time, I went there. So 16, I think, in 2016. Oh, you started at A1 in yeah. 2016? Yeah. And then you finally got a, your unit in there. Yeah, I got a unit there now, yeah. They've looked after me there and given me a workshop that I can use, so, so I do my stock car for. Whereabouts is that in there? Um, come in, go past your non-ferrous on the right, yeah. straight down. Ah, they've got units there. Yeah. Right. Got all the saloons go. stacked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you've got, obviously you're planning your meetings week by week, which is crazy as well. And then you've got three of you in there stripping and building them. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just for you to then... And whenever there was an old car or whatever kicking around, like, 
just let them use it or whatever they want to do in it. If, if there wasn't. That's your way of paying them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And a lot of takeaways. <laughs> yeah. Just never had a cooked meal at home. You can get, <laughs> you can get takeaways though. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anywhere. That's in the middle of nowhere though. Yeah, you get takeaway there. You, get <laughs> you just there. got to have the right contacts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, um, fair yeah. play to you, mate. That's done 92 meetings or whatever that was. That's, yeah, that was good. I don't know if that's... Is that a record? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. You must be bored of all the shot now. Nah, all the shot's a good track though, now. Do you like track. it? Yeah, I quite like it. There's obviously there's other tracks I'd rather go to, but... Go yeah. on, what's your favourite then? That's, that is a hard question. We'll do a favourite in the... Well, in each I've banger. I've probably got a top three, probably, for go a banger. Go on, in each it. bangers, because I would imagine they're probably slightly banger, different. Banger, top three, no order. It'd probably be Eastbourne, Stan Lake... And hard one actually. Probably Kings Lynn on a dry day, mm. not yeah. December meeting. Don't ask me about don't. shower. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. No, There's right. Nothing worse than wet showers. Though. No, I hate it. wet tarmac. Wet tarmac. Probably you can't beat Eastbourne in the rain. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah, one of the best tracks. Yeah, definitely. Dry or wet. Because if you're coming down that straight and it's wet. Best believe you ain't turning. <laughs> yeah, cool is that really Stan Lake's quite slippery as well, isn't oh, it? That's apparently, really slippery. Yeah, yeah. Is that concrete as well, then? I've yeah, never, it's, I've a weird, it's a mix of everything, really. Yeah. Just whatever they're kicking around, down. I think <laughs> chucked on there. But no, that's good. Uh, I think they do drifting there as well. Right, which never helps, obviously. Putting. All I think it's a little bit like Yarmouth now. Yarmouth's real slippery now. What's all that about? I think it's because obviously, like I say, the drift. That's the same as Swaffham, isn't it? Well, they got drifters at Yarmouth. Yeah, that's what I've heard. There's some people drifting there as well. Little courses going around with the handbrake on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> McDonald's trays under the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, go on then, saloons. <clears throat> saloons, counter beef. Oh, best I knew you going to say that. Yeah. yeah, I think every saloon I've driver. I've been, been there, have we? No. That is. Apparently, it's weird to get one. your head round because you have to go into the corner and then you straight out to the wall and then back. Yeah, pretty the much just aim for the wall. Yeah. And then come back is down. Is it grippy just... then? Yeah, it's grippy, yeah. So but you... when it gets wet, that's there's only one line. That's just round the, the wall. Yeah. So I remember that meeting. Recently, when it was wet, was it Matt Sterling? Yeah, yeah. Took you straight out, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, it happens. I oh, know, yeah, obviously. It's just the way it goes. He was bombing it down the wall. Yeah. And I, we were watching on... Uh, oh, no, that, that time, that was uh, Ross, that was. Oh, Ross Went Waters. right around the outside, yeah. That was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't quite make it to the line, did he? Was it? No, I think his ignition switch broke or something. <laughs> I'm not yeah. surprised. <laughs> <You> <laughs> smashed himself off yeah. the wall. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I got on Caldy. Caldy. Taunton. And is that was well, enough cars though? Yeah, that's because I've seen a few cars there. Not many cars down there. A few times. Sometimes, yeah. When there's only like 10, 11 cars, you're like you are, you start in the back or whatever. You know, like the other reds, and it's just a race between just the reds. Really, there's no stoppages. There's no, no one getting held up on. I think, and half the time you're just battling yeah. with each other. You yeah. don't get nowhere. Yeah, that world final looked nuts, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, talking. Yeah. How many different leaders were there? That was. Just can't. Did you hear it in the video? Bang! Yeah. Bang! Brilliant Constant. race to watch. That's, yeah. that's, that's proper stock cars. Yeah, that that's, was, yeah. That's no one through. was letting off there. No. <laughs> that was through and through. That was lethal. You're not getting away. Go yeah. in the lead. I'm not getting away. It's yeah. just whoever can get Monday that break. I was fun, wasn't it? Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. Everyone's coming in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good weekend. Yeah, great. Yeah. It was, yeah. How did nah. you get on? Not very well. First world final. First world final. Speak about that. First world final. Um, I don't know. I was on the grid now. Seventh row, I think it was. I don't think it mattered, did it? No, it didn't matter at all. <laughs> no, nah. definitely didn't, didn't matter. Didn't matter at all, no. Um, my aim was just to even get a booking because obviously the bookings work. The first, I think it's first like 20 something cars. Isn't it from the world final before as well? Or is the world rankings start? World rankings it's from. It starts from the world rankings yeah. at the p- previous year though. Yeah, from late season. So you already, so you're obviously, already... but I didn't do anything over November, December the year before. Yeah. So all these people already had points before that. So it's the first 20 odd whatever cars. Then the next sort of section basically get a booking so I was just happy as long as we get a booking I'll be you're there you're racing yeah and um, definitely everyone was in with a shot in that race definitely don't matter where you look, Archie Brown started pretty much near the back and he got I think but Russell spun right out didn't he yeah and, and still got into the lead yeah it was just carnage but that's a good thing about a small track you get spun yeah. out or whatever mm. and just well how much have you got a break run there is that like the arm of I've raced there in the mini which you only ever let off you never really break yeah. but I can imagine saloon is it like a yarmouth where you have literally you got literally to, got to just anchor up yeah and stop so that's that's when that's when people are gonna cars, exactly, <laughs> yeah that's exactly when proper stock cars come into that's play. where you're gonna get loaded up. I'd love to go. I'd love to see Fat Nuns man there. Imagine that one day. I don't think can't see that happening. You never know though. No, they've got they put unlimited bangers on there for speed, haven't they? For yeah, so they might do. Did they have bangers there before? Well, they obviously got bangers there before, but they put a banger World Series, which is speed with me. Oh, they mm. did, yeah. So yeah, you did. never know. 
Hopefully. Well, he's in talks with him, so hopefully, Dean, if you ever listen to these or Gavin, hopefully you can get us at a Taunton at some point. That'd be wicked. But if we get the That's get it done because he might, he might he might actually race. Yeah, he might actually race. If you get a tournament, he might. No, race. no, don't stop making rumors up. <laughs> don't stop making rumors up. No, I don't, all right. You've got somebody who's raced ninety-two meetings and you're struggling to do two. <laughs> <laughs> What's a normal week now then in saloons? Right, you so see, bang as you were saying, week in week out you were doing your fixtures. Yeah, right, and then you'd have three of you in there, you know, stripping that one one morning. Yeah, blah yeah. blah blah. So then, what's changed from that then? Going into saloons, obviously. What was the ma- what made you go into saloons then? Because you rented. I remember the early before. I see you rented a saloon at Skegness. Was it Speakies? Yeah, well, that's it's the first time story, I saw uh, you. Yeah, it's a bit of a story with that as well. Yeah, we done the. Me and my brother done the meet. I think it was there probably about. I'd say a month before or something. And he what, kept in going, the bangers. In the bangers, yeah. Right. And he kept going. Oh, you or Jack, you want to have a go on these saloons? And I had one years, years ago at Tottenham when I was on the old tyres and when like Shane Davis that was doing them. Mm. Just had a little go or whatever and it was all right. And uh, I was going out, literally going out the pit skate Skegness, back to the right. He stopped me. He said, if you win this final, you can take my car. Speaky. Yeah, you can take my car to UK Speed Weekend. I said, nah, yeah, whatever, no worries. I just just thinking nothing I of it. I thought he was just talking rubbish, isn't he? Don't worry about that. Pulls out, whatever. Wins the final. <laughs> got a trophy whatever else he said right he said get yourself booked in then because you're racing now I said nah 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 don't worry about that next day rings me up <laughs> right you're racing now it's UK I said alright yeah sweet I'll have a go yeah it's was, that for, was that for the whole weekend no that was just the Thursday the Thursday Steve right. Webster had it for the Saturday and the Sunday yeah. yeah so we're going up there what's it on the well we're going up there the Thursday morning bearing in mind now everyone else is ripping me that I'm going to be rubbish and <laughs> you're scared as, as always and yeah. scared that the whole way to Skegness it never took so long to get there shaking <laughs> and whatever else <laughs> <laughs> you think this is proper now you watch them on YouTube and that I couldn't tell you how many YouTube videos I watched of Skegness saloons <laughs> <laughs> in car Skegness <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah first race finished I don't know where I finished and then what's what's the difference between them from I was driving from an unlimited banger to I'll be honest with you, I had probably about an hour or two's practice before the meeting so it was hard to get used to it it's like different braking and don't get wrong the brakes are unreal compared to some of the bangers I've raced yeah. and the tyres a lot of people moan about them tyres but I think they're alright in the saloons you don't know any better I don't know no better so I thought it was alright yeah. obviously it's been set up for Rob and then Steve was there practising for the weekend so I just jumped in it I said yes alright that'll do Mm. I didn't know any tyre pressures, nothing. Obviously, they Rob done all that. So, yeah, first race, got weather. And then qualified for the final. And then... Was there that many cars in? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, was loads of cars there. Yeah, qualified for the final. And then it was between me, Allard and Chevel. I remember seeing the video. You go and on. there was a stoppage and I'm looking behind me. I can see Allard with flashing lights on his roof. Now I can see Chevel and I'm thinking, <laughs> I've, heard about, yeah, go. I've heard about these people. Yeah. <laughs> that was my time to shine. Yeah. So yeah, got going and I think Chevel hit me wide and Allard and that and then I just snuck past at the end and won that race. I remember seeing like the that. video. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing the I'm video. Like, that'll do. Right, that's enough now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got away from that. Leave it there. <laughs> They're then, all coming uh, off like that. Oh, fucking yeah. banger driver. <laughs> He's made us look all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then got back. Obviously you're buzzing, didn't you? That's it, you want to race flat out then, didn't you? I said, yeah, sweet, let's go next race now. Next race and won the next race as well. So what made you want to get one the, then? What, after the final? After the final, they did like an all-comers race. Right, yeah. Mm. Yeah, won that as well. I think Fuck everyone probably loaded up and probably wanted to get on, get on the beer and everything. I was well, I'll get out there. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but, um, yeah, went out. That was that. And I said to Steve after, I said, you sure you want this all weekend? So I said, because I'm, I'm ready here. My overalls yeah. are. I can do all weekend <laughs> if you want. And then, yeah, after that, a car come up, which was basically the sister car to... The Derby built car. That's what yeah. I thought. I thought I said to you, didn't I? Yeah. I, said, I thought you I th- bought Speaky. I thought car. you bought Speaky's old nah, one, nah. and he got a new one. No, nah, I did try and buy it. <laughs> he wouldn't sell it. Oh. <laughs> but, What's um, he doing with that? Is he still racing that himself? He he's got a new car, so he's hiring that one out. Ricky Finney that used it a few right. times. And yeah, I see that. Following yeah. the treat. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. He just what gets was that all about? I think just stock cars. That's um Levi, isn't it? Yeah, Levi. This. Yeah. 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 He's followed a few people. He yeah, yeah. Himself. Then, was he bang world champion? Finn? Or was he the Finn, one that he's won the world of... Yeah, he got to... That was that one, yeah. But he's won the world of shower now. He's, 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 he's been a top banger driver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, then how did it come about? You, you finished that meeting. He wouldn't let you have another go. <laughs> no, no, yeah. As much as you tried batting him, yeah. he didn't let you have another <laughs> nah. go. 
That was Webster's for the weekend. And then it's like, you get home, you're like... I was like, yeah, that was good. Then you start not thinking about it because you're back to bangers then. Right, yeah. So you race for the weekend bangers. Then I broke my knee at Scunthorpe in a banger. How? Uh, I had a bit of head on and I think and just made it come from like this sort of way and just all the steering column come, you, like, come down. You done... Um, did you do something in... What's it called? I can't oh, Emin Holland, yeah. Emin, yeah. That was the first time. That was his knee. That was an, another knee. Well. Yeah, this was another knee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. Remember, so. you've only got two. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're both done now, so. Yeah, they're both, like, scrap now, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, boy. If you, need, if you need any, like, screws now, you can take some out. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was the first one in 2016. I'm going to blame my brother and Nemesis on that one. Because right. that was actually their fault, to be fair. Why? It was a team meeting. So, we've done the Saturday. I think we got second or something. And... Knowing me, obviously, I don't really hit a lot. I just have a little bit of a cruise about, do the water and petrol after the race and have a chat, and it. <laughs> They're all smashing their cars up. And they said on the Sunday, they said, right, you need to hit something now, because you've been looking a bit of a pussy all weekend. <laughs> 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 I said, no, nah, I don't need to start eating things like that now. And anyway, the race happened, obviously, you've probably seen it on YouTube. Yeah. And I think I was like that. the last car going, I think. Come down the straight and just... You know when everyone's in the crowd just pointing? Yeah, you can see I it. I think, all right, I'll just... Do what you, you like, yeah, yeah. And I just thought, well, all right, do him. So that's I done him, and then when I rolled over and landed, that's when mate hit me when I was on the roof. Mm. Lucky, it could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah, but well, it's just a kneecap. So it wasn't from the actual hit, then it's from no. Being upside when down. I've come over, I think my like, my arms or something's broken my arms or whatever. When I've come over, mm. obviously I don't have no knee pads on, and just like, all the column all come over. And do you wear knee pads now then? I don't. I should do, but. I'd, yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Sometimes you're rushing around getting your car, aren't you? And it's just yeah. Well, you got Anne's voice. No, nah. I did wonder how you got out pretty quickly at that world final in that video. You flew out the car. I thought that I definitely not got Anne's voice on. Yeah, no, I don't. Don't. Uh, I don't. I can see why some people use them. I'm not a true believer of them, to be honest. Yeah. Right. On Monday at work, he just sits at the computer. Don't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've only got to look at Tebs Weekly in front of me on the computer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I ain't got to do anything else. He hasn't got any <laughs> doing physical work. Yeah, yeah no. I, I once I started wearing one. I say everyone says the same as well. You wear one and then you you feel lost without it. Yeah. Like when I drive the Spitfire now, I can't fill it in. It doesn't fit in with the belt so I've got. Oh really? So I'd, I'm. It's like I'm back in the Nova, the old five door Nova back in the day, <laughs> and um, everything just feels weird. I'm like, I feel vulnerable then. Yeah. But before then, I didn't have it. I was loving it. Yeah. I would yeah. look everywhere. Didn't even have a mirror. I'd just look like that. Yeah, I like to have a look around. <coughs> You know what I mean? I don't... No, nah, that's fair enough. Obviously, it's not for everyone. And nah. some people do say that, that people have had bad accidents with them. With them, yeah. So, which is why the one I've got, actually, is they've stopped making, but have which is quite worrying. Okay. But it does me, and I've I've not been hurt since I've put yeah, one on, yeah. really. Like a lot of people in bangers say they, they wear them, and they don't even get headache. They don't get stiff neck. You think, oh... I know, right. you still definitely get whiplash. But it just stops. I had a bad one at Hennesford, well, final, where I got stuck on arm coat at the end of the straight, and I had butt the steering wheel and knocked myself out. <laughs> I had short term memory. That's a good impression. <laughs> I had sh- short term memory loss, and I just annoyed every single person in the bar after the race. Oh, so yeah. annoying! Yeah. Oh, I done so annoying. I, I done that when I got knocked out. Go He's, um, who won the world? Fi- uh, who won the world final? Won it? Yeah. The world final race. I said Morphy. Went, really? All oh, right. Okay. Who won the world final race? It's like, <laughs> still Morphy. Yeah, didn't, yeah, didn't yeah, change. He's, he's still Morphy. He still won it. <laughs> so my old man after was, that. Yeah. He got a bit worried because they all thought I was taking the mick at first and then turns out I actually had short-term memory loss. It was oh. bad. Took me to the medics and they were like, yeah, he's just got short-term memory loss. If it doesn't, if it doesn't sort itself <laughs> yeah, out, right. come, <laughs> come back. I still race the next day and um, after that, we see the picture of me, my head, head button still and we're like, right, you need to sort it out. There is yeah. a picture, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Just, bosh. And I was out, knocked out and then I had Luke Morphy come straight in the back of me at the end of the straight again. Yeah. And I was just down like that. Got a banger hit. That should just woke you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so. It Ooh, probably oh. did. First yeah. Gear, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I've, everyone's got their own opinion but that was mine and then yeah. I've, I've worn it since really. Yeah. But there's many people out there, many, many people that have raced for years without them. Yeah, exactly. I ain't got it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. It's no different. I think like Ryan Santry had a bit of a crash I think at Taunton or something and he just comes over next to me and started like stuttering that. Do you right? He said, nah, from the hit of Taunton, when he hit mate head on, mm. I think basically his brain's probably just hit his Kept skull. going. Yeah. Because it's right, isn't it? If your neck's not going to go, something inside you is going to... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not as you say, your head's it, not yeah. moving. Yeah. But and that's, all your organs inside. Yeah, yeah. that ain't ideal, is it? So what's he do now then? What's, what's up? What's he use now? I don't, know, I don't know what he's using now, no. to be fair. Yeah, there is, there's pros and cons, obviously. Yeah, there's some bad things yeah. about it, but 
Yeah. Anyway, we was getting back to the move over. Yes. Uh, right. Anyway, yes. So gets back to bangers. Obviously, just you're in the you're in the mix, aren't you? Just mm-hmm. Flat out with bangers. Then I done my knee again. Obviously at Scunthorpe. And then I thought, well, I want to have to try and get a sling. If I don't like it, I can always just sell it, can't I? So I thought, get one. So having the damaged knee yeah. made you think... Well, it's just, yeah, you just think about it. And you well, that's sit twice down. now you've hurt yourself in a banger, is that... It basically, yeah. Right. Obviously, don't, you're not, you're not going to get hurt in a saloon. Of course you are. Of course, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, well, I have a go in a saloon, see what it's about, isn't it? I knew I wasn't going to be jumping it and you're going to be the best right away. I knew that was the it's case. Not the case. It's not with top not names out there nah, and, and the way the happen. formula is. Yeah, exactly. So I thought, get one. So found the car... That mate that Eddie Darby built Sister at the same car. time. Yeah. Off Speakies. Bought that. Who was that off? It was uh Cy Paris from Taunton. Right. Um so yeah, got that, reshelled it all, done a bit of practicing. And that was it. It's like going racing, right? Like, started liking it, enjoying it. Well, we're here now. Can you obviously with the setup and that or you've been doing it all yourself? Um Pasty, Ian Willis. He's been helping me right. big time. We want to get on to Pasty. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I've met Pasty. Right. Oh, at Scotland? No, before oh. that, it was Ipswich Speed Weekend, and he come over to our tent, and he come over, and he, it was not pasty, I don't know who was in there, <laughs> but he come over, right, right. he had nowhere to stay, and we let him stay in our tent, and uh, he's thanked me a million times when the f- second time I ever met him up in Scotland, yeah. the time you lot come. <laughs> and, um, but he's not even, he doesn't even live near you, so no, how does like, that come about then? Um, I don't even know how that come about, to be fair, I think we were just... Chatting and whatever else. The or is no, it just I'll tell you what it was. It was because uh, he's good mates with Steve Webster. Yeah. And obviously we was at the saloon thing, and we're all, like me, Ryan, Jordan, all that. We're not to stay there. Mm. So well, you might as well stay with us lot if you want. Done that Thursday at Skeg. And then I said to him, "Well, I might get one of them." He goes, "Well, obviously he used to do saloons as well." Yeah, yeah. Cornish champ. If anyone don't know that, he is the Cornish <laughs> champ. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cornish champ. What year was it? Do you know. I, I don't you know. know. Oh, oh, I want to get not the told video. you enough. Then no, he hasn't told me enough. No. <laughs> um, and I said, I'm going to get one. He went, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll come with you. And then that's it. Just every weekend now, he, he ain't missing one meeting. So if, really? If you're yeah. leaving from Wokenham. Yeah. And he's leaving from? Well, he works away in Scotland. Right. So when he flies back, they fly his work, fly him down. Mm-hmm. He either goes to Heathrow or Gatwick, which ain't far from here, is it? No. And then just comes to mine for the weekend. Where is he racing. from, sorry? He's actually from um, near Boston. Mileage. Oh. Well up north. Yeah. So and then just go racing every weekend. And he's a big... Obviously, a big help for you. Definitely, yeah. How many Massive. He's done saloons for a few years. Yeah, he done. Yeah, obviously, I think his uncle does a, a pickup trucks as well. You know, brands and all that sort of stuff. Who's his uncle? Mark Willis. Right. Yes, yeah, sixty-five. Isn't That's it. it yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, that. yeah, and just gone from there, really. You and do it, all the welding yourself. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, obviously, he's working away in the week, so. So you get the cars prepped in the week. You get the car prepped in the week. Most of it, oh yeah. And then you've got him to come away with you. Yeah, and he weekends. comes and he'll double check it all over and whatever else. And <laughs> that's it. Yeah, make sure things <laughs> no, right. Joey, no, <laughs> no, 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 not like that. that. What is that? <laughs> I've just put that bum prom, mate. No, is it yeah. that bad or nah? That's nah. not that bad, nah. And then who else you got with you? You got Lee. Lee comes how, over how once that a week. Come about. That's just um, Lee probably likes going stock cars, but once probably a week, can't. Lazy. Yeah, that is Lee. It's Lee Jordan. Lee Jordan. Lee Jordan yeah. But obviously, he probably likes stock cars, but Ryan obviously doesn't race enough, basically. Right. Ryan doesn't like to go down his own yard. <laughs> Lee, Lee probably likes to come over, that's probably why. Right. So yeah, Lee comes over once a week. No, I say, I've seen him working on your car more than I've seen him working on Ryan's, I think. Yeah, that's about right, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's exactly yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. <laughs> I get a Snapchat from Lee leaving with you and yeah. Ryan's racing an order shot somewhere. He's yeah. like, ah, screw that, I'm going with... I'm going In all fairness, yeah, he's pretty much come to everyone, Lee has. Um... Josh Wilkins, because obviously he works A1 as well. Yeah. Does so, he work in your bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he comes um, all the time, helps me every night. Um, so do you think, obviously with saloons, well, them boys weren't the ones doing bangers with you though, was they? Uh, Josh was, because Josh, Josh was. Brickman used to live next to my old yard. Right. But yeah, Lee, obviously he's not he's, really he's banger related. Stock yeah, he's stock cars, and obviously, yeah. yeah. How much does obviously do the team, do you need of the team? Yeah, you need them all. You need them all. Because uh, you know when... When we don't, we need them all to have the banter on the way in the van, because yeah. that is the key the about s- going racing. The seven hours on the, the way seven hours going to Scotland, absolutely just ripping each other, mm. and then the seven hours back, everyone's asleep. Everyone's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> if, I ever see a video, just home. <laughs> if I ever see a video of your uh, inside your van, it's normally with Josh asleep. Yeah, oh, Josh is always asleep. 
Yeah, we have to we have to wake him up to do the petrol. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, nah, listen, we all have a good laugh. It's brilliant. That's that's how you get. I mean, you don't do seven hours and then another seven hours of talking and in silence, do you? No, you don't. No, 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 that is the not. key to it all. Yeah, you need a good set of lads around you. Yeah, obviously at the track. Who's doing the main bits of the track? Is it you? Me, Pasty, uh, Lee's got his certain jobs he's his got jobs. to do. They all got their own jobs. They've all got their own little jobs they got to do. Yeah, and uh, we've got Big Hoss coming with us now. Big Hoss, Big Hoss, big TV star, Big Hoss. He's been uh. coming with me lately. <laughs> is that Vaughn? Yeah. No way. Yeah, he likes coming stock cars, so he just starts coming and. So how does any how does he then get involved in? Well, does he, he meet you at A one or? Yeah, he'll just meet us at A one, then we'll just and then we'll, we'll go racing. He's from Eastbourne, way, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he's, he's been helping Cecil for years, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, yeah, Cecil don't race every week, does he? And if Vaughan's got a free weekend, wants to go a bit of racing. He loves racing as well. He loves he? racing. Vaughan. He is. Mm. Yeah, he is. And and on the amount of people that I don't think he even knows other people, they come up to him even at meetings and go, "All right, mate." He's like. Right. Going off the telly, yeah. yeah. You're off the TV, isn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's like to do his own merchandise and all that. Yeah. But, um, Big Vaughan. Yeah, everyone's got their own job. Big Hoss, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Vaughan, is, his job is to finish the food off in the van. <laughs> Whatever scraps got, are left around. Someone's he's got, got, got just, Do you want the rest of this cake or not? <laughs> it's going to get chucked. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, don't you want it. Already don't want it. <laughs> Ten minutes later, that cake's gone. So why was that cake then? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I had it. Yeah. You don't can worry. already see where the banter's going. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, so, yeah. that's brilliant. If, that's, if you can't take the banter, you're not allowed in the van, basically. Uh, that's the enough. rules. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few people in there that don't come again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to go racing with Joey. <laughs> How'd that go? Nah. Bit of shit, really. Not again. Nah, it's good. You've got a banter on that, haven't you? Yeah, nah, definitely. Mm. Where's, um, where's the number 760 from? Dad's 260. Right. Uncle's 560. Yeah. Brother's 360. Yeah. Um, 60s. Just L the 60s, really, yeah. Um, and then I was 160 yeah, when I first started. first started. But then uh, Shane Windsor was a registered Speedworth banger driver. Yeah. So we had to take that number. Mm. And then obviously I had to have 760 and that was it. So no reason behind it then, the no. 60s. Was that? No, just, no, it was whatever just whatever yeah. dad, yeah. yeah. There might yeah. be a story to it. Yeah. Never asked dad, I don't think. No. no. <laughs> Just going, all right, that's my number and that's my colours, that's it. Yeah. Cheers. Is them colours always going to be? Yeah, like for the bangers, yeah, it's always be like Team 3 now. We have mm. a change for saloons? Uh, I'll have, I will have a colour change, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I've been blue and grey this year type of thing, so. Well, you got, at a minute, you got, you had two, you started off with one car. Started off with one car, that, yeah. That's sister car. Yeah. And then that other share, where was that from? Uh, I bought that off uh, Richard Regan, that grumpy. It's, uh, it's an old that's Webster an old car. car isn't it? Very old car. And yeah. that's yeah. gone now. You it's gone now, yeah. Oh, you sold that? Yeah, I had it for a couple of meetings. Was that, was that just sh shale? Or? Just shale, yeah. What's it's the difference between shale and... Because in, in 1300s... Yeah, it don't matter really, does it? not really... It, and it doesn't matter, to be fair. Because because don't talk like taking the Adams on there because it's just... Oh, it just wrecks them. Yeah, it just yeah. wrecks them. It does wreck them, though, a bit of shale on that. But then, you've got to give it to people like Allard and Diggy and Ryan and that. They do use the same car. Are they all using one car? Yeah, yeah. Well, Allard yeah. as well? Yeah. I, I, I think he might that. be changing next year, but he's... Yeah, I've got Allard on more than one car. Yeah, so no, you've got, just got the one car. So right. it's it's easily done. It is easy done, but when you're going, to, I think once we done a we done a uh, Kings Inn, I think on a Saturday, and then obviously went straight to St Day, changed the diff, just checked it over. Not as much as you do in the workshop, but quickly check it over. Yeah, and it's just not the same. Something then you get back to the workshop and do it properly. Something's bent. Yeah. So you've lost two races or whatever trying to get the car. But then there's also that instead of going Kings Inn to St Day, I know that is is sort of going to be in the way for you, but. If it was in two different places, you then got to go get your other car. Yeah, like we had them sort of situations this year. Well, you will do, wouldn't you? Where, yeah. Where was that then? You got uh, I'd done a, a Mildenhall, then a Skegness. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's, you do you do three in one weekend? Four, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah, yeah, I've done... The Good Fridays? Yeah, the Good Fridays. Yeah, we've done four. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, it was free. It was free. It was let, free. Let, not, not the cars, let alone the, the body, isn't it? Your body. Not, yeah, yeah, I'm not in Monday, cars. mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in Monday, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we done a King's End, <laughs> then to a St. Day, then to a Taunton, and yeah. Is like that all in one car? Yeah, that was all in one car, yeah. Or a Cowley to a St. Day, and then something else on the way home, or something. He's obviously not eating anything. Can't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your body must be a piss. <laughs> I've done two days in, in Ireland, and right, it was rough racing, both yeah. finals, and Jesus, bro, I come back when I was yeah, at work. Yeah, you was bad. Like, you was bad at work, yeah. Mate. Definitely in the cafe at one o'clock. What did I say earlier? No. <laughs> Scaffolders. Jeff. He thinks we go to the cafe at one o'clock. Can you please tell him? <laughs> it's scaffolders. The job is seven, cup of tea. You don't, you don't, you don't even smoke, but you've got to have a fag. Can of Red Bull. 
Uh, Red Bull. I'll, I'll, yeah, Red Bull. Red Bull. Stop the shot for a bit of chocolate at 10. 12, 1 o'clock, calf. Can of Stella. <laughs> if you want. I mean, if it's a Friday, yeah, have a pint can. And then home. Certain that. <laughs> Not an LGC, mate. Oh, <laughs> no I way. I need to come work on that firm. <laughs> yeah. It definitely don't happen on LGC. Couple more years, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not how work goes at the minute, unfortunately. No. Well, okay. As I say, we come in at A1, we see a bit of scaffold scrap there. We're like, oh, come out, yeah. give us it. <laughs> give us it, we need it. Yeah. Which is mad to see. I went in there and it was fitting bin after fitting bin with people weighing them in. Weighing and putting stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I've already been on the way bridge now, haven't it? Yeah. So, I'll no, I'll buy them off you. No, no. Like, oh, really so now you come inside work now trying to take our scrap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Gary up straight. I was like, Gary, mate, look. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw it. But yeah, that's mental. Yeah. Cheers, Gary. Yeah. Big up A1. Yeah, big oh up A1. God. Definitely, big up A1. Big up A1. <laughs> <laughs> Sorts us out of everything. Yeah, they do, yeah. Definitely. So, you went from buying that second car. Yep. And say, so was there a big difference for you running that and Shale and Tarmac then, other than wrecking your Tarmac car on Shale? Yeah, so basically, you obviously sorted the Tarmac car out. Um, and then you don't want to ruin that. You, you don't want to ruin it, yeah. So, obviously, got then got the Shale car. And it was all right, to be fair, yeah. Colour results and everything, like building all Kings then. But I've sold that now. So my car... What does, it, what does that mean happening in the garage? And if you got rid of that, is there something else coming? Uh, there is something coming. But it's not in my garage, isn't it? It's in someone else's. Right. Um, and obviously I've got my tarmac car. I'm going to make it onto Shale now. So you're going to swap that. That's then going to go to Shale. Yeah. Which is the Derby one. And yep. then you're going to bring a new one in for tarmac. New one for tarmac, yeah. Is that going to be... Is Pasty heavily involved in that one? Heavily involved. Right. Literally well involved. He's there. Yeah. I haven't really had much to deal with it, I don't think. I think he's pretty much short of it all. Right. <laughs> Normally get a text message saying how much it was. Or, <laughs> yeah. You've got Please to buy this. Please pay this now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've got to buy this or you've got to get this certain amount of money. In. But yeah, it's all nice getting a new car in it, but you've got to get everything in you. Down oh, to like a fuel pipe. You've known that over the last couple yeah. of years, didn't you? Yeah. He's only ever bought second hand ones. Uh, that are never yeah. built for yourself, which you nah. know, you jump in it and you're like, this ain't right. Yeah, seat's not right or something's no. not right. You so, talked about it yesterday, probably, wouldn't we? When you're yeah. in the seat, when you got your own car, so much better. You can drive yeah. better, you feel more confident. Yeah. It's, it's but then it's also the fact that you don't realise you've got to buy a fuel pump, you've got to buy a fuel lines, you've got to buy brake cables, uh, brake lines. That adds up, doesn't it? Brake lines, steering wheel. Adds steering up. Wheel, steering column. Yeah, loads of stuff. Rose joints. Up. Yeah, loads of stuff. Just but don't stop. Then you've got to get a throttle linkage that probably costs you about 100 quid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mad. If you don't have it, it's no good, is it? Because you lot have all got to run the certain kit as well, haven't you? Yeah, we have to run. You have to buy a kit. Yeah. Which is how much? I think it's eleven hundred quid. I think it was. Right. That's a sump pickup pipe. Yeah. Flywheel, inlet manifolds, ECU. Does that get checked a lot? Uh, I think obviously at major meetings, yeah. Yeah. Normally, what they'd be checking, what they, what I've seen them check is your ride height, and then on the scales, mm. just you know the obvious stuff. Yeah. Mm. So obviously that's. I mean, the price of that is because they're going for. All, you always see top cars at the minute, at like eleven grand, ten grand. Yeah. Is that right? It's probably not, obviously depends whose car, but yeah, it's, it's because it could be around about that. I've seen thirteen hundred go up for eleven grand at the minute. I know, I like, did see that. Yeah, you're like, mate, yeah. you might have, might have, might have spent that much money if, but it's only worth what if someone's going to pay. Exactly it's, that. It's, yeah. It doesn't matter how much you spend on it, no. it's still not going to be worth that money. Exactly but, that. But yeah. I mean, the two liters now, I can see a lot of them going up for 10, 11 grand. Yeah. And I mean, I think it's everything just goes up there, doesn't it? Yeah. And obviously, like I just said, it depends whose car it is. Mm. Listen, if you're going to buy anything, if you're going to go and buy Lee, Pe Lee Pierce's 1300, or you're going to go and buy Ryan Please. Jordan's 1300. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I've got my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, he's done yeah. right. He's Irish Open champion. Nah, yeah, yeah. Listen, that wasn't luck. It was just, he was there at the right place, right time. Yeah. I didn't mean that, Ryan. Nah, he's a good old boy, right? <laughs> he, he likes a bit of banter. He's good. Yeah. But now nah, the price of them, are they about are they about right for what you think? Yeah, it's a, it's, it is about that money, yeah. I think so. Just, I mean, starter cars you're looking at, you could get them for what three grand? Could you three four grand for a start car? Yeah, you know that's that's going to get you out there. It's going to get you out there. Barnes is <laughs> <old car>. Yeah, <laughs> but if you want to, if you want to do it, you're going to do it right, aren't you? Yeah. So you've yeah. got to go right, basically. exactly like what you've done. You've you've hired out one of the best cars out there. Yeah. You then gone and bought a sister car to that. Yeah. And now you are see this is where I think you go. You'll then go from you know your red top to then go to you know, your superstar status where you're putting the time in by doing every single meeting and how much are you learning each meeting? Ah, you learn something. Do you, have you got a book? Or you yeah, I've got a book, yeah. You do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, so, you, so you're going to be doing that for the next probably two years, I'm going to say, just out of what I think. And then after that, 
you get a switch. Yeah. And you buy the first come. title comes. That'd be nice, yeah. I'm going to dig then. <laughs> My book. I am not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't even have to write, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's not got a book. Scaffold, just copies yeah, scaffold yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so you're going to be doing obviously that many meetings you're definitely going to be getting learning more and more each time yeah definitely you know you're going to go from red to top hopefully with a new car and you're going to have backing of obviously pasty and then whoever's building it probably going to give you some of their because they are top people yeah they're building it as well so it's all about the backing it's all about so a lot of it obviously you've got to learn as you go yeah yeah. it's obviously who you know that can give you that little bit of extra extra help well along the way, yeah. But I think if you're putting yourself out there like you are, there are going to be people out there going to be like, you know what, this geezer's fucking putting his all into it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't mind giving him a hand. Yeah. And sponsor side, I suppose, other than A1, you've probably got quite a... Yeah, a few people help me out. Like, say, A1, Garrett, Classic Cars, and his boy, who does um, Plant Iron and that. Mm-hmm. They're, they're the main ones, you know what I mean? Top geezers. Yeah, they are, yeah. Shout out A1 again. Go Shout on. out A1 and <laughs> HW Plant Knight. And, 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 and Classic Cars are us. And yeah, and Classic Cars are us, yeah. Oh, she's scaffolding? You haven't sent to me, so. I'll, well, go on there if you want. <laughs> you can just go on there. Yeah. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. We've got to get, we get a proper deal going in. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? This man's going up and down the country. People yeah. want, what do you want scaffolding <laughs> in Aberdeen, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I'll give you a Tebs jumper. <laughs> yes, good start. <laughs> good start, yeah. That's well, have all yours sold out? Yeah. It must have done. Yeah. yeah. So where obviously saloons are that is that something that you're gonna be sticking with now? Yeah, yeah. Until yeah. Dunno, until so going back to bangers at all? You done uh, actually you done a banger last couple of weeks ago at Eastbourne? Eastbourne, yeah, that was just something to do. That was just See this is this what is this that was just show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What man? Yeah, it saloons was, yeah. are finished. First thing things are right. There's a back to basics yeah. meeting. Have you, you still got all your stuff then? I take it. Uh, I sold two cars, like, un- like my unlimited cars. Yeah, what built? Yeah, built to yeah, pay for the saloons. Basically, yeah, to yeah. pay for the saloon and that, and then um, yeah. So how much is that costing? That's your banger kit now. Obviously, that will hopefully fund. But you've still got a load of banger kit there. I've got like my back to basic built and a uh, focus from rookie world final. So no national stuff. No, no national stuff now. I ain't got time for it, mate. Nah, you ain't. That's, that takes up a lot of time in National Mail. Yeah. Back to basic, you strip it out after work and build it after work. And that, paint it. Is it that, that yeah. easy? Oh, yeah, definitely. So then what's the difference between that and the National then? Ah, oh, loads. Back to basic, you drive in the workshop, you leave the battery under the bonnet, leave the radiator in it, dashboard in it, literally just minimal. Try and get to dinner for about eight o'clock at the pub. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> that, with it painted, ready to go. Yeah. So that's Jesus. the plan. And then 1,600 banger? 1,600 banger, that's probably like two nights work, really. Focus. Because mm. obviously I've got to put a water tank in that and different steering column and ECU and bits and bobs. Mm-hmm. Um, but unlimited, yeah, that's just like... Listen, when we was doing the... Was you doing them flat out then, unlimited, for a little while? Yeah, it was, yeah. It but was. It, it was smash it up on the Sunday. race, Try and race this Eastbourne meeting on the Wednesday, as I said. But in the meantime, you've got to strip a Merc out, strip the used car out yeah. that's smashed up all bent up and probably broken drive shafts and maybe a broken gearbox you got to fix. Mm. And then you're racing the next week at, like, say, anywhere. So that's all that week up until one, two o'clock every night in the workshop trying to build a Merc. And then sometimes, you know what it's like, you, you miss doing things or you ain't done that properly because yeah. we need to get get done. Definitely. And it's no good, is it? It's just... No. What's so. the rules between Back to Basics, 600s and Nationals as well? Can you... You're allowed to follow in Still wouldn't That's basics. You're not even allowed to like spin towards the arm co because obviously it ruins the car. Right. They're just trying to get much. It's for people who are just so starting. Just spin. starting. Yeah. Yeah. Literally just it's not just spinning about. Final. Hopefully so a bit can't, more action. So you so can't when follow you, in. No, nah, no. Nah, when nah. you had round out the window when you won that heat the other day. <laughs> I definitely didn't have the hand out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just got on the roof and started jumping up and down yeah. for a heat win. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, uh, but then obviously 1600 you're allowed following and all that, aren't you? Yeah, 1600 pretty much full contact. So how comes? You end up going like not obviously Big Eddie, but you end up going. You end up winning most, most time you in you in a race there. What's because they're meant to be standard, aren't they? So yeah, that, they are. Yeah, um, I know we just run up to the pit skate. Weekend. Yeah, just run up to the pit skate and get up the front and then get going. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, like Eastbourne last week. It, and listen, a lot of people it's not it's not their cup of tea. Back to basics, but it was it gets 40, you out. There. It was forty fifty old cars around Eastbourne yeah. all out for a final. Yeah, it's that's brilliant to me. Yeah. And you're starting at the back and you got to get Greasy all the way Greasy as well. Yeah. I was starting with Aaron Morris and we both had to try and obviously get near the front. And you're both laughing at everyone else. He's world champion, aren't he? Yeah, Aaron's world champion, yeah. yeah. 
He deserves it to be fair because fair play to he's him, been yeah. around a while, the old boy, isn't he? I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> he's um, nah, he's 1,300 yeah. world champ. Yeah. Was it two times? Or just uh, one? I think it might be. Two or three times, isn't it? Yeah. Was it? Might have been the two it's times. Twice. No, and then he's obviously gone into bangs now. He's 1,600 banger world champ. Yeah, champion. yeah. He's from Oakland, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Brighton away. Yeah, he'll drop past his house. Yeah, yeah. He had Laurie outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a little tote. Yeah. Is that on the way to the calf? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> speak to the man. Don't know why he's necking. Yeah. Unlimited um, Bang Well final or 1600 Bang Well final, what's best? 1600 Bang Well final. Everyone says that. Mate, all the followings are mad. They're too expensive to smash up, aren't they? Yeah, the, the unlimited, yeah. How much is an unlimited banger? Unlimited banger now, if you were to go out tomorrow and. If I want to go buy brand new. What, what do you want, a frog guy or a Merc? I'll have a Merc. You're a Merc? Yeah. I reckon built Merc now, ready to rock and roll. With all the right stuff you need, yeah. In it. Top gear, eight grand, and then you've got to go and then smash that up. It could get followed. How much is a shell then? Uh, Merc shell, probably. I've seen them on Facebook, I think, for like three fifty. Oh, you said no, you I'm said? saying free. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 but like three fifty for a Merc shell. Yeah, but obviously, let's bear in mind you're not going to get anything off that. There's no cat on it, there's no engine, mm. there's no alley wheels. Right, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you get that, keep that from the last car, yeah. But I'm just saying, for to get, get a bit yeah, of money yeah, back yeah, yeah. from a bit of scrap, yeah, well. That's all right. Yeah, so that's eight grand to go. S- <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. And then obviously a built sixteen hundred. Built six hundred now, fifteen hundred quid. Really? Yeah. So you can see why they. How many they they fully book every time, don't they? Bang every out. single time, though. You can't fit any more cars in there. No, but then that rookie world final, like I said, that's the better world final, definitely. Yeah. We've Million never been to one, have we? We still have. We we are proper. That's why I'm asking all these yeah. questions about bangers because we, we yeah, don't know you don't really, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've, I've grew up in, with a mini stock and then straight into 1300 basically. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That old man's, we've never had the space or anything to do bangers. Nah. So when you hear it from someone like you who's done 92 banger meetings and a thing, it's actually, yeah, it's mad to think. Yeah. And you're smashing these cars up and you, you're building them yeah. week in, week out. It's mad. It's good to go to other tracks to see other people, isn't it? Mm. Do you people still prefer it. bangers or? Nah, nah. Saloons, you, we, yeah? Nah. You've got moved over to a stock car man now. Well, like... I've done the Rookie World Final because I qualified for it in one of the meetings. I had a free weekend. I qualified for Rookie World Final. <laughs> it's free so weekend. <laughs> done that. And then, but it's not like the same buzz. Nah. A stock car, like your, your clutch leg is shaking every race. Yeah. Whether it's 10 cars at Taunton or there's 50 cars at Calvin B for a championship, mm-hmm. you're still <clears throat> buzzing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. There's a banger like that. Well, okay. Same, same, race. Old, same old. Try and win it off soon. And yeah. That's what I do. And if your other family's going to have a go in a saloon? Trying to get my brother to have a go in one. No, he's Try not having it. it. Nah, he's just like, nah, he just keeps making excuse up, really. <laughs> and he always goes, well, he's going, well, you stop car mates and this and that. <laughs> oh, I said, well, you haven't had a go in one yet. So, yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> have a go in one. Do you reckon he would? Yeah, I think we will. We'll get him Skegness this year. Hope in Rob's car, actually. Yeah. That's the plan. And then he'll have two Reynolds out there. Nah, he, wouldn't, he won't convert him. He'll help no. you out with your battles then. <laughs> well, I, I, would have, I wouldn't have ever thought you'd be converted, though. Yeah, I suppose yeah. So, actually. Yeah, I did, yeah, I thought, I thought that. It was, you see you in the uh, in that hire car, and then obviously you see you painted with one. I was like, what? Yeah, that's mental. Yeah, it's good. That's mental. Right, favorite moment in saloons. No, favorite moment in bangers. Go on. Favorite moment in bangers. All the shot somewhere probably in it. <laughs> DD. <laughs> um. Not like dodgems. Favourite moment is probably doing a meeting and smashing my brother and my dad up. Because <laughs> yeah. we all smash each other up sometimes. It's actually yeah. quite funny. No, well, it's better yeah. than... Yeah, it is. Yeah. They yeah, get I'm the ump? Like... No, no. They're all right, yeah? Nah. Gives you something to talk about in a way. Yeah, they, exactly, yeah. They obviously done it to you then before. Yeah, we'll do it to each other, yeah. <laughs> you just got to pick the right moment, obviously. Not first race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like... You've all just spent time building them in. <laughs> yeah. Just done in first race. Yeah, that's good fun. That when the good. car's nearly dead. Yeah. And you think, you know what? He's having it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd love to do that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I will. I will have a go at one point. But I've, I've took my dad out a few times and just about to base it, just try and win a heat. Do you know what I mean? Because would you do your old man? Yeah. Would you? I wouldn't let him win. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You wouldn't let your old man win, would you? Well, no. <laughs> and I like to think you'd think the same about me. Yeah. You should get rid of me. No, I, I don't think so. I reckon. Oh, he, he wouldn't let you forget it if you if he won. No, that's the thing. Because he knows how, do it. He knows how <laughs> competitive I am. <laughs> yeah. Whereas he knows I'd been trying the whole time to get him anyway. Yeah, exactly, If I yeah. then let off, he'd go, no, you didn't let off. Yeah, no, you wait. didn't do Fred that. ain't coming back out now. <laughs> no, he's coming out next order shot. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Yeah, so now. Watch out. <laughs> I know, yeah. He's after Jack, apparently, isn't he? Yeah. If you race. <sighs> Favourite moment in Bangers is smashing I can't wait old. for you to go out. <laughs> I will come o- out. Hopefully, hopefully that Minute Nationals meeting. Yeah, we need to look at the fixture on that. So definitely what date is. 
Let me Sem- know if you are. Sem- Is it a Saturday Sem- or Sunday? <laughs> Sunday. 7th of January. No good. Heavy Milk Classic, Stanley. I've got three cars to race. See? You've got three cars oh, to race. Yeah. Shitting himself already. Yeah, scared. <laughs> <laughs> three cars to race. Yeah. On the same day? Same day, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's nothing surprises me now, Joey. Nah. All right, go on in. Favourite moment of banging, smashing your brother and your dad up. Yep. Favourite moment of stock cars. Obviously, um, you got the first year in it. Well, Which final? A couple of favourite, well, a couple of favourite moments. A couple of favourite moments. Probably the first <laughs> final win. Got a Cowden Beef. Because <coughs> you, you don't forget that, do you? No. Your first final win. Especially being at Cowden Beef. Yeah. Um, them boys race their week in, week out, don't they? Yeah. They're, them boys. And that's a good thing. And when you're beating them, well, you're racing with them top boys up there, you think, well, we're in the mix. Um, another favourite moment. Was it wet? I think it was, actually. Yeah. I think it was. Um, another moment. Put it on pole for Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was that across three races? Yeah, yeah, three races. Yeah, to qualify, I've seen in high sports score pole on it. So, how many cars are there? I think there was thirty <coughs> something on the grid. Yeah, I think. What happened to the main race? Like, you got spun out, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Right, last lap, I think. Last lap got spun out and just stock cars, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's it. It's it's life, just, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, luck's going to be on your side, or it ain't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could have the best race going, and if somebody wants to spin you out last lap or something, yeah. they're going to do it. And yeah, that's, exactly. That's it. This is what it is. Um, put on pole for that. That that's about it. I have a favourite moment, probably just meeting new people, isn't it? Oh, it's a whole a new crowd, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a whole new crowd. You have got a lot of people that have gone over from Bangers, though, like Allard, Maze. Yeah. There's a, there's a, probably a lot more than that, but they've gone over. What's why? Why do you reckon that is? It's just I don't know really. Maybe because maybe because they don't want to build Bangers every week. I would say it's car prep, isn't it? But it's still a, it's still, a lot of time putting, doing that. It might be, but the same amount of time. Allard, in. Allard, he, maybe he walk, it's bo- Allard walks around racing his slippers. He is so laid back. He, yeah. he doesn't do a lot. <laughs> really? Maybe um, yeah, maybe he is just so chilled. Is it not repetitive? Doing the same banger each. Um, but then you're work, you're working on the same car. Yeah, I know, but it's different type of work, though, isn't it? You know, when you're in the workshop on the stock car. It's different kind of work. So. Stripping and building a banger. Is it demoralising? As you say, you've got to strip that one out from... Yeah, you've got to strip that out. And then you've got interior kicking around everywhere and just... Ugh. Do you know what I mean? It's nice. Stock car, you just get it back in there. Cut the corner off. When, cut the front bumper off. What did yeah. you do when you was at Guildford then with all your like, interior? Well, obviously did you just bring it to car, work? Well, no, I'd have the old car that was stripped out from the last week. So, yeah, so just Fill just it up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, I'd stay behind at work, strip it out quickly and then go home. Right. Or whatever, yeah. Just make it work. You make it work. Yeah, of course you do. Um... Going back, so yeah, that's probably about it for the stage, really. meeting new people and that. Funniest moment? Funniest moment. Just banner with the lads, isn't it? Yeah, he's just banner with the lads, isn't it? Just literally just... Ripping we've had weekenders away and just... I forgot about the meeting. Just funny weekend. You, yeah. don't, you don't really drink, do you? Nah. No. Nah, I don't really drink. I'll probably don't have about that. two Budweiser's and I'll be on the floor. That'd be me. I'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing you in Scotland in the back of um, Angie's van, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, what, what's up with him? Oh, he's had two Budweiser's. <laughs> he's like, I'm back. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's about it. I'm not like Lee and Ryan. They can, they can drink yeah. like a oh, no, fish. They can, they can, can drink, can't they? Oh, I've seen some states of Ryan as well. Ryan, <laughs> I've seen some right. states. Can we try and edit that in? Some states of Ryan into this. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let's get just The best one is the clogs, I think. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta put that one. I'll put it in. Hundred percent. Chels, when you're listening, you're editing this. Tell me what. Uh, tell me to find a video. I'll find it for you. Of Ryan Jordan <laughs> in the clocks. Just to get on one bad. <laughs> Funny. And if you're listening to it in anything other than YouTube, make sure you go on YouTube and um, have a look at this video. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. anything else? Favorite driver. In what bangers or? Uh, all all over racing. All time. No, in all each. over in racing. Each. In each. Go in each. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on in each. Yeah. Banger driver. <laughs> I know what you're looking at. <laughs> you can't knock him. You can't knock him. Boxer Jack. Boxer Jack. He's, he is good. He's you know what boring, I mean? You have got he? people like Jack Overy as well. Yeah. And there's other, loads of I other love drivers. Jack and these what you've looked up to at all? Was it, or did you just sort of look up um, to your own old man and stuff like that? Or did you see these lot as you were I'll be honest with you, I never really used to look up to someone like Boxer Jack because we, we used to smash him up, mm. sort of thing. But then yeah. when you actually get speaking to him and you have a chat and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, all right. Yeah, yeah actually, sound, yeah. <laughs> Went to South Africa a couple of times with him and. He helps, he's sponsored me a bit in the saloon as well now, so... Yeah. But I'm not just saying it, but he is a good driver, you can't take it away from him. Jack Overy, again. Top. Legend. Yeah, Shane Legend David, people like that just... We should <laughs> when we went up to, um, when he had his course built, Sid, we went up there once, and uh, Jack was in there in the garage, and uh, there's a thin platform on the side, and he goes, can I have that? 
I said, can you sign it? And let him have it. And he's like, yeah, 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 no problem. He goes, and he was like, seriously? He went, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, Got it. just ruined his dream. Yeah. What was I that about? That. That was Six brilliant. years ago or something. Yeah. Wasn't it? Uh, it was brilliant. I was like, really? Was, no. No, no, no you, you can't. Have that. <laughs> what? <laughs> He might be asking for you, yours once. Well, funny enough, we um, yeah. went up to Sid to go pick the Wadham up and uh, Jack Obi was there finishing his bang up for World Final. It was World Final Day in the Unlimiteds. And uh, we gave Sid a t-shirt, um, a Tebs Racing t-shirt or whatever. And he goes, he walked in the door as we'd given him. He goes, where's mine then? I said, oh, do you want one? He goes, yeah, I'll have one. So I said, oh, pick which one you want. He picked one. Next thing I know, I get a message from Jack Smith. He goes, how the fuck have you got Jack Obey to be wearing your T-shirt at Bang Well Final? <laughs> He's walking around. He's walking, walking around, though. <laughs> Bang oh, well Final. That is brilliant. I was like, we've made it, boy. Yeah, yeah you've made it. it. You've done now. We've done it. <laughs> that is a fair play. Oh, no. But yeah. Um, Favourite stock car driver? Did you well, Did you watch him when you was in the bangers or not? Probably. Not really, no. No, not really. Didn't really. I, I suppose only the modern day drivers, isn't it? But you're racing yeah. with them people. So. Exactly. So don't, don't say too many watched, names. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, they're all shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's about it, really. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Stock car? You say stock car. Stock car, well, I didn't really used to watch it. No, 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 no. You didn't watch it. I missed that. So story. anyone who was, he's probably racing against now, so we're not going to say it. Not me, then? No. No. Nah. He has no? to be out there racing, doesn't he, for it to be? Not scared of people like Ben. Good answer. <laughs> 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 we'll stop being tears in a minute. Yeah, right, right, right. That'll right. Do, that'll do. We'll end it there. <laughs> right, cheers, Joe, for coming on. No, I appreciate very it. Much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can't wait for Eastbourne. Yeah, Eastbourne, Eastbourne on the 7th. You're going in. <laughs> <laughs> You're going in. <laughs>